the Lord for the brothers and sisters. Amen. Glory be to our omnipotent, sovereign God, who's glorious and loving. And he gave us another evening to sit here and celebrate him, beloved brothers and sisters. Celebrate him. For he alone is worthy, children. He alone is the Lord. He is the only. He, our God and our Lord is one. Amen. Powerful and omnipotent and sovereign. Sovereign and faithful, children. Our God is so, he's so awesome. He's a miracle worker. He's a healer. He's a reconstructor. He's a rebuilder. He's a deliverer. He is the rock of all salvation. He is the rock that we are hewn from. He is who lives within me. And you, people that are sitting here coming to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, we sit here, we gather each and every day. Don't take the grace of God that he has given to you in vain. Even more, as scripture says, be one to sit here and fall back into the beggarly elements of this world, to sit here and be bound again into slavery, saints. A lot of you people that are still living world and living carnally and still doing the things of this world, you're living in bondage, people. God liberated us from the things of this world so we can walk in the freedom of it and the newness of the Spirit. Amen? Don't you know y'all living deceitfully when you're sitting here and are bound by the things of this world, spirits? Y'all are bound by the things of this world, and you don't even know it. You don't even see it, children. Amen. Y'all think y'all sitting here celebrating and all this life, and it's more work and more thing than just to be, be in peace of God. Amen. A lot of people, a lot of people, saints, a lot of y'all. And y'all defend, y'all are worldly defenders. But when it comes to the gospel of salvation for you standing in your freedom, do you, you want to blame God? Oh, I'm, I'm dead. Well, you're dead because you want to, child. You only that because you want to. And God will let you live that way. God, my, our master Jesus, doesn't start strive with nobody. He don't start with us. He don't even start with me, child. If I'm going to go be deceitfully and knuckleheaded and stubborn and rebellious, guess what? He's going to give me, here, go, 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 go keep drinking out that cup of fornication, as it says in Revelation. Amen. Keep being that one that's rebellious and, and stiff-necked and hard-headed and stubborn and, and rebellious in your heart. And impending wrath for yourself on the day of judgment. Amen. But brothers and sisters, us that are out here that, that, that are for you, we're for you. Be, be, becoming ambassadors of Christ. As he says, we are workers, fellow workers of God out here in this world, beloved brothers and sisters. We are fellow workers of God that are out here in this, in this vineyard. It's called a vineyard. Amen. 1 Corinthians 3, 9 says, For we are God's fellow workers, and you are God's field, God's building. Amen. Praise God. Not those buildings that are made by man's hands, but those stones that are being rejected that God is perfecting. So that you can raise not only a, a, a true, genuine hallelujah to the Lord of hosts, spirits and saints, children of the Most High God, even more. To raise that spiritual sacrifice, becoming priest unto the Lord Most High God. And that, that, that position is not given to everybody. But you that have in here to hear, you know that I'm speaking to you. Hebrews 5, 4 tells you that that is not one that is given to you. To people by man, as a lot of people, a lot of y'all, y'all, y'all ordained it, but it's given to us by the Lord, saints. It's given to us by the Lord, not everybody. Only by the Lord, child. Amen? Because the Word of God tells us that the lips of a priest should keep knowledge, wisdom, the law. And you know what? And the people should seek it out of his mouth, except y'all, y'all are rebellious. And God, God knew that we all gonna be rebellious, but we're not gonna back down on the truth. Because the truth, what? It sets us free. Hebrews 5, 4 says, And no man takes this honor to himself, but he who is called by God, just as Aaron was. Amen? You people that are having an ear to hear, and you saints and you servants of the Most High God that are out there, and you know who I'm talking to. Because Shalabahu is the one. I'm talking to my brothers and my sisters. I'm talking to those that wish we'll be receiving eternal salvation, amen? Not 
deceitfully, but truthfully, saints, truthfully. Amen? We're going to sit here and pray. We're going to praise. We're going to worship. We're going to sit here and read more of the gospel of salvation and what God's word says. Not what man says, because we ain't taught by man. We ain't, we ain't here with big extravagant words of wisdom and none of that. We're here with the true word of God of salvation. Amen? To, to all of you that are going to sit here and be receiving salvation, because it's not given unto everybody to come truthfully unto God. Only my master Christ, uh, the Lord of hosts, is the one that gives it unto us so that way we can sit here and be where he needs us to be. Amen. And stop living worldly. You people, y'all something else. Y'all just funny. Y'all funny style. Amen. Heavenly Father, but you know what? It, it, when, when God opens your eyes and you see how silly some of the people sit here and really do to defend the world and be more lost and bound in shackles and chains that they do not see, saints, you're going to be like that bow headed Lord, that bow headed man that you ordained to bring the gospel of salvation and truth. He was right, Lord. These people are running around here like chicken. Like, like chicken with their neck cut off to and fro like the book of Daniel says. Y'all going to be running around to and fro. Ain't got no peace. Ain't got no contentment. Ain't got no true joy. Y'all no, can't even sit still for a minute. Why? Because you lack self-control, child. Amen. A lot of people are lacking self-control. But you know what? Our great God, he's faithful. He's, he's merciful and he's loving. Even more, he's a joy to sing to spirits. Ooh, he's awesome. The freedom. Let us pray. I'm always staying on my knees that, that way, as Ephesians 3 says, beloved brothers and sisters, that God will sit here and strengthen you guys from the from the inner man. Not the outer man that's corrupt and going to nothing. It's going to come to nothing. And y'all know this. Y'all know this. And if you don't know it, you know it now. Yes, it's in the scripture. You know, we're running a race to receive an incorruptible crown that the people of this world, and even in these churches a lot, saints, they have given themselves over to the spirit of the world to speak deceitfully with big extravagant against words to sit here and make the flesh and make everything seem all right to serve the world and the creature instead of the creator that is blessed forever. Amen. And y'all eating it up. I keep saying that because I see it. Amen. And y'all going to see it too. And if you already see it, you better be praising God that he's opening your eyes because that's not given to everybody because he's giving people the spirit of stupor asleep in slumber so they cannot hear and they cannot see <laughs> but we're we glad that it ain't us amen let them live like that we're gonna live in peace and joy and contentment and and live for god and not the world amen let us pray heavenly father glorious and wonderful are you I love you, Almighty God, and I thank you for this day that you have made. I've praised you all day, Father God, and I thank you for the healing that you did, for the miraculous things that you did today. When we prayed in that gathering last night, Father God, when we were studying the Bible here, Father, and they brought to the table for us to sit here and pray for a beloved brother that was in hospice, Holy Father, and you moved mightily today. You moved him straight out of that hospice place back into his assistant living, Lord. Knowing that you're going to show that how your power and your might in that man because we were faithful believers, Father God, and that you were going to do the impossible and you showed it, Father God, unto all the whole wide world. You continue restoring um, Chuck Chase, Father God. Charles Chase. Charles Chase is his name, Father God, that we prayed for. And we went to lay hands and right there while we were visiting that doctor came, Holy Father, and told him, you know what? You've been approved to go to your assistant living. You're out of the hospital from hospice. Glory to you, Lord, Father God. That was awesome. You moved. You, you're, you're a wonderful worker, Lord. You, you're a God that works wonders. You're a God that works miracles, Father God. You're a God that moves mountains. You're a God that makes paths straight. You're a God that restores. You're a God that part waters. You're a God, Father God, that sets captives free. You're a God, Father God, that removes scales from eyes, Father God, so they can see. You're a God that we can give our vessels unto your hand, Father God, into the potter's hand, and you will rebuild us from the inside 
inside out, Father God. You're a loving and merciful God that will sit here and pour a new spirit into us, Holy Father, and give us a, a new heart of flesh and take this heart of stone from us, Father God. You're a God of gods and the Lord of lords, the King of kings, the King of righteousness, the King of just, the King of the universe, ruler of all that has the final say in or faith, Father God. Woo, praise you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. You continue working, Father God. You continue healing the sick in their faith, Father God. You continue making pastoral to all your servants, your saints, and your children that are out there, Father God broken and contrite, coming to you humbly in truth, Father God, in truth, and standing boldly to you, Father God, confessing our sins unto you, because you're faithful, as you said in your word, to forgive, Father God, and restore, mighty God, in the mighty name of Christ Jesus, Yahshua HaMashiach, you restore omnipotent sovereign God, all that has been taken, all that has been sent here, and destroyed in our vessels, Father God, Ikushlaba. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Father God. Continue working wonders. Continue working miracles. Continue keeping us in perfect peace, Father God, that seek you diligently and stay focused on you, Father God. Continue strengthening us in our spiritual gifts, Father God, in the mighty name of Christ Jesus, Joshua, how much I declare it unto you, Father God. Move it. I command the Almighty God to sit here and strengthen the faith that's within us to sit here and see you, Father God, in every little thing that we do. Thank you for the blessing of this evening, Father God. Thank you for your words that are so wondrous, Father God. They're, they're wonderful and they're, they're so loving, Father God. They may be convicting and hurt us, but your Bible says you will not sit here and comfort us with the lies, but he will strengthen us with the truth that's in the Spirit, Holy Father of the living God, my Master Christ. I love you, Lord. Continue providing the things that I need, Father God, according to your will. Not my will, let your will be done, Father God. Continue sitting here filling this vessel with the words and the anointing that's from you, Father God, and your Holy Spirit that will dwell in me richly. Search our hearts continuously, Father God, each and every day. Each and every day, Holy Father. Bless those that bless. We ask you to show mercy on those that curse, Father God. For you didn't put hate in our heart, but love and power in the Holy Ghost. Let it fall upon us, Father God. Fill this vessel with your words. Let the words that I speak be your words, Father God. Let the things that I do, Father God, be acceptable unto you in all ways, Father God. Correct us when we're wrong, Holy Spirit, and lead us to the truth. Light our way. Remove anything that's before us that's kind of caused us to stumble. And let those that sit here and put those things get stuck in their own traps and their own snares, Father God. For above you there is nothing, beneath you there is nothing, beside you there is nothing, Father God. For you stand in the power of, of you stand in power and glory from everlasting to everlasting. We will say the Father as my Master Christ Jesus said, Holy Father, Heavenly Father, God of all creation, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, omnipotent sovereign God, from any and all evil for the kingdom and the power and the glory is thine forever and ever. From everlasting to everlasting, you are holy, Father. Continue strengthening your body, Father God. Continue purging out the things that are not good for us in our vessels, Lord. Search our hearts. Heal us as we lay it all at your feet this day. And know that you're going to sit here by faith. Work it all out according to your will, Father God. Not our will, but your will be done, Lord. I love you, Father. I love you more than life itself. Continue strengthening me too, Father. Never leave or forsake us, for we're nothing without you, but we're everything in you, Father. I love you. Hello, sister. God bless you. As we bless the Lord of, of hosts, God Almighty, and sing praises to him, and read the word of God in truth. Amen. I love everybody.
God, we love you, Lord. By faith and believe in you, I know you're healing my brothers and my sisters when they're standing in the full insurance of the faith in you and believing in you with our whole heart, not partly, Lord, for you're not a partial God. You're a full God. You're a God of gods. You're a God that sits here and does not pardon anything and does show partiality to anything. For you're the Lord of hosts, Lord. I love you, Father. By faith and believe in you, Lord, I know that you're working in my master Christ, the true hymn, your mighty name we pray. Let's praise the Lord. This blessed and wonderful evening. Glory to the Lord. Amen. Let praise be the weapon that silence all the enemies. Amen. Children of God. Let praise be the one that sits here and breaks down every wall as we speak the name above our name and sing glory to our Lord. Let praise be the weapon that silences the enemy. Let praise be a weapon that conquers all anxiety. Let it rise. Let praise arise. Your name in the dark and it changes everything. We sing with all we are, we claim your victory. Let it rise, let praise arise. We'll see you break down every wall. We'll watch the giants fall. Fear cannot survive when we praise you. The God of breakthroughs on our side, forever lift him high. With all creation cry, God, we praise you. Oh, 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 oh. we praise you. Oh, 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 we praise you. The praise be the song that overcomes the raging sea, amen. Let faith be the strong that came to the storm inside of you and me. Let it rise. Let praise arise. We'll see you break down every wall. We'll watch the giants fall. Fear cannot survive when we praise you. The God of breakthroughs on our side, forever lift him high. With all creation cry, God, we praise you. Oh, 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 oh. we praise you. Oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 oh. we praise you. Oh, we praise you. Praise you, Jesus, God of God, Lord of Lords, King of Kings, King of Righteousness, King of Justice, we sing unto you. This is what living looks like. This is what freedom feels like. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you, we praise you. This is what living looks like. This is what living looks like. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you, we praise you. This is what living looks like. This is what freedom feels like. This is what heaven sounds like. We praise you. Is this what, this is what it is. No chains, no shackles, huh? But we will be brought under bondage of what? Nothing. Break down every wall. We'll Fear cannot survive when we praise you. The God of breakthroughs on our side. Forever lift him high. 
with all creation cry, God, we praise you. Oh, 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 oh we praise you. Oh, 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 we praise you. We praise you. Praise the Lord, amen. God is awesome. Praise the Lord, glory to God. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Praise you, Jesus, glory to you, Lord. Almighty God, as we praise you, let your glory fall. Let the shackles and chains sit you and be removed the scales from our eyes, Lord. I see the King of glory. Coming on the clouds with fire, the whole earth shakes, the whole earth shakes. Praise you, Jesus, glory to you, Lord. I see his love and mercy washing over all our sins. The people sing, the people sing. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Sing it, brothers and sisters. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Praise you, Jesus. Hosanna in the highest, glorious and omnipotent of you, Father God. We see a generation. I see a generation. Rising up to take their place with selfless faith. With selfless faith. I see a near and your refreshed revival, saints. Stirring as we pray and see, we're on our knees, we're on our knees. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Praise the Lord, glory to you. God, thank you so much. Because so Glory, let your freedom ring, Lord. The spirit of it living, let it dwell, Father God. Heal our heart and make it clean. Open up our eyes to the things unseen. Show me how to love like you have loved me. Praise the Lord. Break my heart for what breaks yours. Everything I am for your kingdom come. 
as I go from nothing to eternity and made whole in Jesus. Amen. On Christ Yeshua Hamashiach. Praise the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Sing it, saints, even if it's in your heart and your spirit. True worshipers of the Lord our God. Amen. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Praise Jesus. Glory to the Lord. Amen. Hosanna in the highest. King of glory. King of righteousness. King that's coming on the clouds. Amen. To retrieve what's pure and has kept himself defiled from the world as spotless saints. Amen. Spotless. Don't be what's found with spot and blemish. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to you. So we lift him high. Yahweh, Yahweh. Lord, we lift you high. Glory to you, Master Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus is his holy name. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we, so we lift him. him. Yahweh, Yahweh. And we lift you high. Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, and we lift you high. Lift them high in your hearts, saints. Lift them high in your hearts, spirits, children. You alone deserve our worship. You alone deserve our praise you alone deserve the honor so we lift you high way away <laughs> Praise you, Jesus. Yahweh, Yahweh. We lift you high. Yahweh, Yahweh. He led us out of the 
waters out of the wilderness, even out of your dry spells, children. Spirits. She's leading you out of all your deception and removing the scales of your eyes, of your darkness, of your chains, of your shackles, spirits, saints. Mighty deliverer. Praise the Lord. We lift thy name. We lift you. Lift him high on the altars of your heart, spirits. Amen. That's where he dwells, and he'll dwell with you richly. For we know that my master's not made and dwells in things that are made with man's hands, but the things that are made by his hands. Amen. Shaddai El Donai, Lord of hosts, God Almighty, great I am. Praise the Lord. It's awesome to be in the presence of our omnipotent sovereign God, in our secret place of our hearts. Some saints. Amen. Each and every day as we sit here, we go through these times, saints. As we go through these times, praise God. Find Him. Find Him. He's not that hard when you open up your heart and clear all of you out of there, all your, your crud that we got built in our heart spirits. Because we all have something to sit here and deal with. But what God will deal it for you. Amen. God will sit here and remove them, them stickers that are stuck all up in your heart of hate, envy, strife, God, all of it, all of it, all, of it, all, of it, all that yuck. So you can stand as the light of the world in the strength and the full assurance of your faith, saints, that you know what? You're of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. We're going to sit here and let that play. The atmosphere has changed. Nothing stays the same. Heaven is waiting. At the mention of his name. The spirit is moving. Burning like a flame. Healing the broken by the one we proclaim. Raise it up, fill the sky. Chains will fall, mountains move, we lift them high. Speak the name, the name above all other names. Speak the name, 
the name, the wind and waves obey. All of heaven coming down, fill the earth with the sound of the name. The name of Christ Jesus, Yahshua HaMashiach, who's blessed forever. Gather all who wander, hostages of shame, miracles unfolding at the mention of his name. The darkness is fleeing, mercy raining down, healing waters flowing as our lips make a sound. Raise it up, feel the sky. Things will fall, mountains move, we lift him high. Speak the name, the name above all other names. Speak the name, the name the wind and waves obey. All of heaven coming down, fill the earth with the sound of the name, the name of Jesus. Speak the name, the name of Jesus. Strongholds are broken, we can be made free. I am forgiven, fear has to leave. Strongholds are broken, I've been made free. I am forgiven, fear has to leave. Your name is healing. Your name is power, your name is holy, your strong tower, wonderful name, glorious name, powerful name of Jesus, Jesus speak the name, the name above the all other names, amen. Speak a name, the name the wind and waves obey. All of heaven coming down, fill the earth with the sound of the name, the name of Jesus. Speak the name, the name of Jesus. Speak the name, the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, beloved brothers and sisters. Glory to God as we get into our reading. The word of God sits here and tells us, beloved brothers and sisters. Some of us have been separated by God. And I pray that all of you will sit here and separate yourselves unto the Lord our host to sit here and live according to Him. Amen, and to your salvation, saints. Amen. We're gonna see one more. I love to praise God, especially for everything that He does, amen. Praise the Lord. I can't wait to y'all in the joy of the Lord, to feed His soul and temple in peace. Sing and join your heart. Oh Lord, you searched me. You know my way. Praise you, Jesus. Even when we fail him, I know you love me. Surrounding me in every sea. 
the cross I bow my knee Where your blood was shed for me There's no greater love than this You have overcome the grave the Holy fills the highest places What could separate us but us from Him? Praise you, Jesus. And when the earth fades, because it's coming, and falls from our eyes, and you stand before me, I know she's going to judge me. Amen. Praise God. You will judge me. But that's cross I bow my knees. Where your blood was shed for me. There's no greater love than this. Oh, you have overcome the grave. Glory fills your highest place. What can separate me? Praise the Lord. Cross I bow my knees where your blood was shed for me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Every, every day, bow to God in the, in the, in the altars of your heart and get all, them, all that stuff out of there. Amen. Because they, they can't be room spirits. There can't be room saints. They can't be room children. You're either children of wrath or you're children of God because you can't be a little bit of both spirits. Amen. Praise God. You can't be a little bit of both. You got to be either one or the other. You got to be for me or against me. Amen. Says the Lord our God. So us being stewards of the gospel, as it says, 1 Corinthians 4, 1 and 2, spirits. Everybody that knows, you know, we're, we're going to sit here and start like this. Yesterday in John, we sit here and spoke about the spirit of truth that was going to come and bring knowledge of, of, of a, a whole lot of understanding and wisdom that is not given to man, it's given to us by God. Those that God has handpicked to sit here and bring, we are all members of one body spirits. We are all members of one body saints. We are all members of one body children. Even unto you prophets, apostles, evangelists, because we all can stand to be corrected, every single one of us, to get the yuck out of us so we can stand as lights of the world because the light's going to shine out of you spirits. We can't do this. God does it. 
Amen? But we know that he tells the saints. The thing is, God didn't put a lie. He didn't put the seed in my mouth. He put the truth. Amen? The truth. And a lot of people don't like it because it, 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 it burns up. It sets a blame. Amen? Like he told Jeremiah, the words that I put in your mouth are going to be like fire. It's going to sit here and sin. Amen? We are ministering spirits unto those that are going to be receiving salvation. You do not harm me. People don't harm me. With the words, the way they act towards me, the, the hate that they got in their heart. I pray that God sits here and softens their heart. Amen. I always pray God to sit here and show them truth so we can be all standing in unity and one accord. The more that we can sit here and do that, you know what? We would be stronger and strengthen the spirit of God. Amen. And we would be defeating the darkness because but we like standing in darkness. A lot of people like standing in that darkness, spirits. A lot of people. Amen. Let's go to 1 Corinthians. We're going to be in the Corinthians today. Amen. I know I'm not better than anybody else. And yeah, I've stumbled. And yes, I've fallen. But I don't live there. And I don't care less what the church go, what the people of this world can say. Ooh, yeah. Well, that was yesterday. I don't live there no more. I moved on to, to today. Amen. They can live in yesterday. We moving on to what? Today. Amen. Praise God. Let, uh, let a man so consider us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in the stewards that one be found faithful. Amen. In 1 Corinthians, beloved brothers and sisters, Titus 1.7 tells us that. But I make it known to you, brethren, that the gospel which I was preached or where I was taught is not according to man, as Galatians 1.11 says. For I, I never received it from man, nor was it taught. It, it came through the, through the revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen? Through the revelation of Jesus Christ, spirits. Not man, to Christ. Yahshua HaMashiach, taught by the Holy Spirit, separated by God. Galatians 1.15 But when it pleased God who separated, not only me, this goes to you too. You see, if, if you're feeling it, to God separate you from our, from our mother's womb to call us through His grace to reveal His Son in us that we might preach Him against among the Gentiles. I did not immediately confer with flesh and blood because, you know, we stubborn. Amen. To be taught by the, by the Holy Spirit. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy tells us that in 1 Corinthians 2.13. A lot of people see the Spirit, saints, when, when the Word starts sitting here getting in you, you're going to know the Word. You ain't going to have to sit here because we're going to get taught by the Holy Spirit. We're going to be in one, one accord and we're all going to know that the truth is being spoken. These things which we also speak is not words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual. That's why I told my brother earlier when he came to visit me, the things that I speak, brother, are spiritual things. They ain't got nothing to do. They'll speak to me about the world. I'm going to speak to them about God. They'll speak to me about their cares and concern. I'm going to speak them to them who can sit here and deliver and who, as long as we give it to him truthfully. Amen. And of our heart. Born for our salvation. Jesus, but the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. Nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Amen? And that's a lot of people. They're blind. Many people are, are blind and they're, and they're being led that way and they like it. They like it. They like it. And you know what God's going to do? Let you like it until you die. Amen? God ain't going to strive with none of us, not even mean spirits. Not even mean saints. Amen. I'm not sitting here telling you nothing that, that it's not the truth. You don't, you don't start with me. I just know judgment. Amen. We're not talking about doctrine of men We're to, or to keep traditions of men according to the commandments of men, but according to the doctrine of Christ. In 1 Corinthians 2, 4, tells us that. And my speech and my, and my preaching were not with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and the power that your faith should not be in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. 
Amen. Praise be to God. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who is coming to nothing. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory. Amen. Number nine, but it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of man the things which the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his spirit for the things search, the spirit searches all things, yet the deep hidden things of God. Amen. And we, and we that are truly of him, we have moved from death to life, the old man to new life in Christ as lights of the world in Christ. Amen. Many people in this day and age, and they're going to do it to you too, spirits. They're going to do it to, for you too, saints. They're going to sit here and want proof that the Christ is living in you. You give it to him. You live humbly and you live humbly, you live in peace, you speak the word, you live according to what God has got for you, amen? Not of man, but of God. Praise God, you're gonna be a light just like this shining, it's gonna shine through you, brother, brother. It's getting dark and y'all see it. But the light that dwells within us because the Lord encamps around those that love him, amen? <clears throat> Since you seek a proof of Christ speaking in me, who is not weak toward you, but mighty in you, for though he was crucified in weakness, yet he lives by the power of God towards you. Amen. Examine yourselves as to whether you are in the faith. Test yourself. Do you not know that yourself that Christ is in you? Amen. A lot of people forget that. Unless indeed you are disqualified, but I trust you will know that you are not disqualified. Run the race with endurance, saints, that are set before us, as in Hebrews 12, 1, 3 tells us and follow the rules as 2 Timothy 2, 4, 5, but we don't sit here and run to uh, uh, obtain a corruptible crown, but in a corruptible, incorruptible one, which a lot of people that are in this world, y'all living worldly, defiling your garments, guess what, you, your, your, your garments are tainted, your garments are not white, your garments are not washed, Amen. You you got spots and blemishes, and God sees it. God sees it. So you need to come with Him with that with that broken and contrite heart, humbly, truthfully, Amen, and sincerity. And God will sit here and move in your in your in your in your, in your favor, Father, brothers and sisters. The churches have changed God's gospel to uh, one that is worldly. We don't speak that. Amen. The second Corinthians 13 or yeah, 13, 7. Now I pray to God that you do not do evil. Amen. That we should appear approved, but that you should do what is honorable. Though we may seem disqualified. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Amen. Second Corinthians six one spirits, and y'all can read all this. See, this, this is God gives us how to sit here and minister this word, and sometimes it's it's hard for the people that have been indoctrinated and and see their own conscience and they noggin with their own beliefs. Amen. And God leaves them blind to keep keep believing that. Amen. But God ordains, beloved brothers and sisters. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians 6, 1. We then as workers together with him also plead with you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in an acceptable time I've heard you and the day of salvation I have helped you. Amen. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We give no offense in anything that our ministry may not be blamed. 
even though they try to put us in there, but God is mightier and he's going to knock it out the way. Amen? Because if God is for you, who can what? Who can be against you, right? And the ones that come against you, God sends something in, in, in your lives. Oh, my goodness. Y'all need to recognize, open your, remove them sleep from your eyes, child. Amen. In all these things, we commend ourselves as ministers of God in such patience, in tribulation, in needs, in distress, in strifes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in sleeplessness, in fasting, by purity, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by sincere love, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich spiritually saints. Spiritually. The Kushlabahu. Praise you, Jesus. Spiritually. As having nothing and yet possessing all things. Amen. First Corinthians three nine spirits. We overcame. Clearly, you are an epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink but by the Spirit of the Living God, not as tablets of stone but on tablets of flesh that is of your hearts. Amen. For if the ministry of condemnation had glory, the ministry of righteousness exceeds much, much more glory. Amen. Oh, I'm sorry. One, three, nine. <laughs> For we are God's fellow workers, and you are God's field. You are God's building. According to the grace of God, which was given to me as a wise master builder. And people don't see that. Because they look at... Blindly. They'd rather go to these churches that are misleading them and instead of sitting here and, and hear the truth. Master builder, I have laid the foundation on another build on it, but let one take heed how he builds on it. Amen. How he builds on it. Second Corinthians 520, therefore we are ambassadors of Christ. Though God, through God, Though God were making his appeal through us, we implore you on behalf of God, be reconciled to God in your heart and spirit. Amen. So as Hebrews 12, 15, see to it that no one falls short of the grace of God, as, as that no root of bitterness spring up to cause trouble and defile many. As a lot of y'all good at that one. 2 Corinthians 5, 18, 20. And all things are of God who has reconciled us unto himself by Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. Amen. So let us move on to perfection as Hebrews 6, 1 says. Let's approach God with a, with a sincere and a steadfast heart, full of assurance of our faith of Hebrews 10, 2 children of God and live not in denial of what price was paid for our salvation and take no and take not the grace of God in vain as second Corinthians 6 1 2 tells us a lot of you people do that amen do not take the grace of God in vain to go back to the beggarly and Beggarly elements of slavery, as Galatians 4, 8 through 10 tells you. Moreover, to be destroyed, as Psalms 1, 6 says. 
for your unbelief and unfaithfulness. Take, take not lightly the judgment of sin, for we know that all sin and that commit sin or lawlessness spirits is sin. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. We are overcomers in Jesus Christ. We are stewards. We are people that are out here that God has ordained for these end times to sit here and live humbly and walk. But people don't, don't see it. They, they see very judgmental, very talk about, very think, mm -mm. you know what? God is, God, God is the God of gods and Lord of lords. Amen. And above him spirits, guess what? There is none. Let us pray. I love to praise and worship the Lord. I want to show you God's thing. Look at this beautiful flower. Isn't this awesome? God's creation. Beautiful flower. I bought it for the church. They don't like me, but I'm still... I, I, God don't put hate. All these flowers that are right here, I bought them for the church. Because I'm, I'm still going to sit here. And, you know, I still got to do what God called me to do. Let us pray. Glory. You see the light of God? We're lights, child. You're light. Let the darkness be gone. Praise you, Jesus. Glorious and wonderful are you, Holy Father. I love you, omnipotent, sovereign God. Glorious and wonderful are you. Loving and faithful to forgive. Almighty God, I ask you in the mighty name of Christ Jesus to search our heart this evening to bring peace, contentment, and true joy and love of the Holy Ghost. For it's not about gain, it's not a materialistic thing, it's about being in the peace and the presence of you, Father God. Help us and lead us and guide us into, into all truth, Father God, with your spirit. Remove the scales of the brothers and sisters that, that we, as we sit here and we gather, Father God. Always. Let them know that you've sent people, you've, you've ordained people, and you're bringing the truth to all that happen here to hear. That are purpose to inherit the kingdom of God so that we can get right in our heart with you and be filled with the light of you, Lord. I love you, Lord. As these praises go up, Father God, I know that you're working. Let your peace and contentment, joy fall on us of the Holy Ghost. Light our way, Father God. Light our way. Bring healing to my brothers and my sisters. Bring peace and comfort in these times. Provide for us according to your riches in heaven, Father God, the things that we need. Touch those that are out there as we pray for everybody. Continue working, continue doing, continue liberating, continue strengthening your children, Father God, and your spirit. Praise the Lord as we sit here and praise to you the glory of God in Christ Jesus. Joshua HaMashiach, in my name we pray. It's going to be the last song. There's a burden on my shoulders I'm tired for wasting my words And my prayers are going nowhere The light and dark are wrestling with my heart A war of my defections His voice is ringing in my head a war for my attention But I believe you will overcome All the fear and the fight in me For the suffering cannot compare To the weight of your glory Your glory Sorrow may last for the night, but joy comes in the morning. There might be heartache in life, but your words will be my healing. Oh, for my soul, I know I'm not alone here. Promises 
I'm counting on your mercy. Suffering cannot compare to the way of His glory, amen. And I believe you will overcome all the fear and the fighting. And the suffering cannot compare to the way of His glory, His glory. His glory. Nothing compares. Since I believe you will overcome all the fear and the fighting me. Can to the way of your glory. Yes, I All the fear and the fight in me. In my Cannot compare to the way of your glory. Yeah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful evening. Amen. Love y'all. Y'all have a peaceful and wonderful night. And may the Lord, the King of glory, shine in your darkness, child. Amen. For we are lights of this world. Amen. And no darkness. None.